Hey everybody, Tuesday update here, Tony George, DocSports.com. You'll notice the uh, isolation chamber, the situation room, the bunker, isolated 47 floors below my kitchen compound in Las Vegas. It's still not been fixed up yet, although we did get this from Amazon Prime today. Yeah, a little microphone to tighten up the sound, get yourself a nice natural background. But uh, the content's all that matters at the moment. I uh, hope you all had a great Memorial Day weekend and looking forward to another week of live betting when it comes to horse racing, Korean baseball, soccer, and of course NASCAR. Two more races in the next five days. And another seven unit winner this weekend as we had a nice pick on Kurt Busch over Eric Jones for a seven unit winner. We're going to give you, and we're going to talk about that race in a minute because we had a DQ that kind of hurt our card after the fact. Uh, and also, we're going to talk golf. And I've been talking about the basically here in this COVID 19 uh, year that none of us saw coming, obviously. And uh, we had talked for three months previous to this hitting that we were going to be putting out golf this year. On June 11th, we'll be putting out some golf. Uh, that's when the Colonial down at Fort Worth starts. Uh, without fans, but nonetheless, golf. And I've been betting head-to-head -head matchups in golf for the last seven or eight years. Uh, uh, but now we're going to bring it to the forefront. We were before this happened. So it's not something that we hadn't planned on. It's not something that we're throwing up against the wall to see if it sticks because we don't do that. But uh, nonetheless, um, we will have some golf picks out here in about 16 days. So that's exciting. And there'll be weekly tournaments now. And we're going to talk about the Masters, uh, which goes off here, and some futures bets that I made this week. So be sure and uh, stay tuned for that. Quickly, in NASCAR tomorrow night, you have the Elsco Uniform 500 again at Charlotte. Um, kind of a weather-delayed, crazy race. Um, lots of intangibles and variables during that race. Uh, a few surprises during that race. And uh, don't forget, I have not forgot why well, I did give you Mickelson and or, uh, I gave, gave you Tiger Woods over Mickelson's team for free, which I did bet relatively heavy, I might add, um, and won by a stroke. They were killing them. But anyway, one. Um, also, the crappy NASCAR pick that I gave you where I went against Brad Kozlowski, who ended up winning the race. Sorry about that. It's big seven unit play. We had Johnson over Blaney. Uh, Johnson finished second, almost won the race. And then I wake up Monday morning and find out he got DQ. Um, yeah, some of these post race inspections, um, you'll find something off uh, the spoiler is a quarter inch too high, or, you know, uh, the ground clearance is a half inch, this, that, or the other, whatever. They inspect these cars and they DQ him for something. I know Denny Hamlin lost half his pack, pit crew for four races because of something that happened. Uh, there were some, just some crazy things and uh, that is part of NASCAR. And uh, to be able to consistently win like we've won is pretty pretty impressive, especially last year with 88 units to the good and over 7,750 bucks for a hundred dollar player. You're still up, I think around 2,000 bucks this year and plus 26 units. So uh, nonetheless, uh, and the top plays, the six and seven unit picks, we're six and one on the year and won six in a row. A row. We're, we're, ATM machine right here. Free 60 bucks. You've never been a member. Race cards are 30 bucks. You'll have another one tomorrow night with 30 bucks in your pocket to spare. We got 11 other handicappers over there doing horses and all kinds of different things on a daily basis. Spend it there. Make money. You can sit around and watch three runs on Netflix. You know, watch Ozarks and Outer Banks and whatever else there is on Netflix to watch. New David Spade movie, or you can put a little action down on the, on the ponies and make some money. A bunch of guys over there doing very well. That being said, let's talk golf. And I took a look at this Masters Futures thing here, and I got to looking, and I didn't do a lot of studying here, but, um, you know, the top uh, in terms of uh, futures to win the Masters and the Masters is one of those tournaments you always look for, forward to either the week before or the weekend of Easter. And you really don't do anything. I don't know how many family 
get togethers that were out of town on Easter, I passed on to stay home, lay on the couch and watch Masters. That's just a, a ritual where I'm from. And I'm a huge golf fan. And I always had action on it. But that being said, this year is going to go in November 9 through 15. And uh, right now, uh, so that brings a little different dynamic to it. And of course, golf starts June 11th, so they're going to be they're going to be seasoned by the time they get there for this major. I don't remember ever having a major in November. Matter of fact, I don't think it's ever happened. But right now, Roy McIlroy 13 to two um, is the odds-on futures favorite to win the Masters this year. John Rahm at 12 to one. I don't think he has a temperament to do four rounds there, especially if his putting if the putting goes crazy. Um, and on Sunday, those greens are fast. I've been down there three times for that tournament to watch it in person. And um, I just don't, although he straightened up his act a little bit in terms of his temperament, I still don't think he's got the complete game mentally to get around there four rounds and close it out on Sunday. And um, Tiger Woods, 14 to 1 to repeat, tied with Justin Thomas at 14 to 1. Those are the top four uh, <coughs> players on the Futures Odds board. Here's what I did. $200 on Xander Chauvelet, 25 to 1. This kid sniffs around leaderboards and majors. He is a big time stick. Um, he's had an opportunity to win a couple majors and learn from them, and he plays very well at this golf course and has the perfect temperament to win there. Barring he stays healthy. Uh, Ricky Fowler at 33 to 1, put a $100 bill on him. And Justin Thomas at 14 to 1, put a $100 bill on him. Both those players are capable of winning this tournament. Fowler, I thought this might be his breakthrough year where he finally wins a major. He's won the the, the TPC at Sawgrass, you know, the tournament players uh, tournament, which is just, as, just a, as big a major to the players as it is any of the other four majors. Uh, but nonetheless, I thought it, was, it might be his year. Maybe, maybe he gets it done. He's played well down there. But those were some uh, Masters leans. Golf will be out. On the 11th of June, and ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow, hump day, Wednesday, NASCAR race card, Charlotte, round two. Now we got a little better feel for it, too, than we did. We'll have a big top play winner for you and probably a couple others. And hopefully nobody that wins our bat gets DQ'd the next morning.